Hi, I'm with Laura Smith, the Sonos expert, who's going to talk us through the key features of the iconic Sonos Play Bar and how easy it is to set it up and use. So Laura, with TVs becoming slimmer and slimmer these days, there's less room for speakers. So I guess that's where a soundbar comes in. But what key features does this have to give you that improved sound? The way it's designed is really clever. It features nine individually driven speakers placed in a way to deliver directionally. So that means if there's a huge crash on the left side of the screen, you'll hear it there because the speaker on the left is going to play that sound. So let's say you're watching a car chase movie, maybe the car's spinning from left to right, you'd hear that play placement individually from the speakers roll across that screen from left to right. So with all that great powerful sound, how do you avoid upsetting your neighbours? There is a great feature called night mode, which is really handy if you're watching TV at night time at that low volume. Night mode makes the dialogue clearer while reducing the intensity of loud sounds. So if you need to be mindful of upsetting your neighbours and you want to watch a dramatic loud movie, you're still going to hear everything clearly at a low volume level. I've heard that Sonos also offer another feature that helps improve vocal clarity. What is that? Yes, we do. Some of the common feedback we hear from people is sound bars can be booming down the low end, but actually lose the high end. Now, by that I mean when people are speaking, you can't necessarily hear what they're saying clearly. So if you're watching the news and you need to hear the voice of the presenter, that can get missed. Sonos address this issue and have its own speech enhancement setting. So what that actually does is boost the audio frequencies associated with the human voice. So speech enhancement improves that vocal clarity. So when I get the play bar home, what does it come with and how easy is it to set up? Okay, so in the box included are two cords, that's it. One's a power cord and one's the optical cord that connects to your television. You don't even have to read a manual because the Sonos app guides you through that simple setup process, actually including connecting the play bar to your Wi-Fi network so you can stream all your favorite music. At Sonos, uh, we really understand the need for the simple setup. It's so key and that's why we have that free app to guide you through the process. From unboxing it to using using it, the play bar, I'd say in around five minutes. Great, so does it come with a remote? Another handy thing is there's no need to worry about extra remote controls because it uses your existing TV or universal remote. The play bar learns the infrared pass through during the setup, which means the remote you have is all you need. So this is ideal as a soundbar, but what if I wanted the surround sound experience? Well, with Sonos, it allows you to build a home full of music at your own pace. It's expandable. So you can add the Sonos sub to create a 3.1 home cinema experience. This adds dramatic, deeper bass to the play bar. It's really beautifully designed with no buzz or rattle at those low frequencies. Now, you can actually place this anywhere in the same room as the play bar. Just plug it in and it connects wirelessly with a touch of one button. You could also lay the sub down under a sofa if you prefer it to be hidden and it comes in black or white. And what about if I wanted 5.1? That's a really good question. The final expansion of Play Bar, as well as adding that sub, is having two Sonos speakers behind you for a 5.1 Dolby Digital home cinema setup. This rear speaker gives you a real immersive cinema feel at home and it's perfectly synchronized. Just add a pair of Sonos speakers behind you, say the Play ones, in the same room to create that setup. And what about music? Does the Play Bar work the same as the rest of the Sonos family? Yes, it does. So when you're done watching the TV or movies, you can listen to all the music you love on Play Bar. Not just louder, but clear music. Sonos can play the most popular music streaming services, internet radio, your favorite podcasts, audiobooks, as well as your own downloaded collection. So Play Bar is a soundbar for music lovers. In terms of home cinema, you've talked us through the Play Bar, but Sonos also do a Play Bass. So what's the difference and why would I choose one instead of the other? Okay, good question. So typically sound bars work better when wall mounted, but the reality is most end up on TV stands or furniture in front of the TV. So this is why Sonos have two options for home cinema. The Play Bass is designed to sit on furniture and you can also place your TV on top of it, whereas the Play Bar is more suited to be wall mounted above or below the TV. So it's easy to choose between the two. Just ask yourself, where's it going to go? On a TV stand or furniture, that's the play base. If you're going to mount your TV on the wall, then you want to go for the play bar. 
Great, thanks very much, Laura. So that's the Sonos Play Bar, offering you a real value two-in-one solution. It adds cinema sound to your TV and it streams music too. If you want to find out more, you can go to Curry's PC World online and in store.